Hi guys, in this video, I want to share with you five tips on manual focus. I've used some of these techniques in these two cherry blossom videos. So if you're interested in how these videos were made, this is the tutorial for you. And don't worry if you don't have a manual lens because you can use manual focus function with an autofocus lens as well. By default, it should be in the FN setting here. So you can choose the focus mode and choose manual focus. If you can't find it in the FN, you can go to tab 1, page 4 out of 11 and go to focus mode choose manual focus now these tips are going to be from the most basic ones to more advanced so if you already knew any of them feel free to jump to the part that you're interested in so basically picking is just a function that helps you focus more correctly now i'm using sony zve 10 as an example you can go to tab 1 page 10 out of 11 picking setting turn it on and now you turn the focus ring you can see the outlines of the objects you can also change the color of these outlines and choose whether you want the level to be high or low normally i use the high level Sometimes you may find that the picking function is still not accurate enough. This is when you should use the magnifier. First, go to tab 5, this suitcase icon, and go to page 2 out of 5. Turn the touch operation from off to on. So now when I want critical focus, in addition to using the picking, I can also magnify the area by double touching the screen. This allows me to make sure the area is what I want to be in focus. This is especially helpful when the depth of field is very shallow. One thing you should pay attention to is that obviously when you are magnifying the frame, you can see the entire picture. So make sure you have already had your ideal composition and then double touch the screen to magnify. And then if you want to go back to full screen, just press the button in the center. It might be a little difficult to explain. So let's take this video as an example. Before I started shooting, I had already decided to focus on the fourth pillar so i told the model to walk to the fourth pillar this way you can see that he first appeared very blurry and then slowly starting to be more and more in focus this is a very easy way to create a depth of field and you don't even have to move your camera at all when you are shooting a revealing shot for the beginning of your video or an ending shot for the end of your video Making things from blurry to clear or from clear to blurry is a very useful technique. There are two methods that allow you to achieve this effect. Method number one, use manual focus to focus on, let's say, this flower and start shooting and then slowly turn your focus ring so that it will go from in focus to out of focus. And method number two, use manual focus to focus on the flower, start shooting, and then slowly step backwards or forward so that the flower will be out of focus. Again, let's look at this footage as an example. I had already decided to pan the camera from this branch to the cherry blossom. And if I use autofocus, then what will happen is that first it will focus on the branch and then it will suddenly jump to focus on the cherry blossom. And that's not the effect that I want. So I used manual focus 
And before I started shooting, the first step is to set the focus on the cherry blossom. Second step, I moved my camera to the place behind the branch. And third step, I started shooting and panned my camera from the branch to the cherry blossom. As you move the camera, you will get to the point that the cherry blossom is in focus. You can combine this tip with tip number four. So let's look at tip number four again. We went from out of focus to in focus. And if you really tried it yourself, you would quickly understand that it is so much easier to go from in focus to out of focus instead of from out of focus to in focus. So when I'm using tip number four to shoot, instead of moving the camera from the blurry branch to the clear flowers, what I should do is moving from the clear flowers to the blurry branch. And then when I'm editing the video, I will just reverse it and it will just look like going from blurry to clear. So these are the five tips that I found useful when I was shooting the cherry blossom videos. Of course, autofocus is great, but when you want to create some interesting scenes like this, you will have to use manual focus. And after a lot of practice, it's actually not that difficult. So I hope I have explained everything clearly enough. And if you still have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.